when I was younger, my problem with relationships is that I was very fragile and very, very desperate to be loved because I didn't. Don't you dare say foster care. Don't you fucking dare. No. Don't you fucking. No, of course. <laughs> no, no. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't want to. I think I'd just been walking around with that with that question without words to it. You know what I mean? But just that feeling of why doesn't anyone want me? Like what like why do I keep ending up in a different house at a different yeah. school with different friends? Why am I yeah. you know and then, it's it would be hard it's hard not to take everything personally as a person. Right. Especially that. It's hard to break out of that perspective that like the world yeah. the world owes me. You know, I didn't do anything to deserve all of this. And I had to get, I really, I mean, the Marine Corps alleviated me of that. Like, what? How? It's like, you ain't special. Because no one gave a fuck. In fact, you know what's so funny? Most of- That's funny, because in the war, before the Marine Corps, it was probably, it seems like everyone is cared for except me. And then you enter the Marine Corps, and it's like, no one's cared for, right. including well, you. The foster kid, kid me felt like I was surrounded by people whose obligations were to keep me alive and take care of me and like pretend to be my parents. But their actual sentiment was, you know, they all, they, it's like they all act like you're some kind of, you're some kind of creature that doesn't know it's ugly. You know, they're like, they're worried. They're worried about you, about things that they want to discuss with you. Mm. Whereas like in, in, in the military me, it, it was more like I'm surrounded by people who have the same obligations to keep me alive and all that, but they don't have to pretend like it's more than that. So, so it's like, Got it. so it's like, they're like, you know, you're, I'm here to keep you alive and you are here to do a job. Yeah. And I'm going to always do my part. I'm going to always make sure you paid, fed, know where to be, what above. It was, you know, it was that consistency that, yeah. Yeah. But, I wouldn't say <sighs> why do most of your relationships end now because as an adult the hardest part for me especially like in the show business thing is well it's it's, it's several problems my, the problem on my end is that I want closeness so bad but I don't think I've ever actually been close like I don't want I don't I'm so it's like I'm not comfortable being close. It's kind of like being alone. It's like I'm way more comfortable by myself. But I do want you, I do want you to want my company. I want you to invite mm -hmm. me, and I want you. But I want you to know me well enough to know that I'm not gonna go. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's it's kind of the same thing. Like I want to be close and intimate and 100 percent connected with somebody, but I don't know how to be. And and the closer I get to it, the more uncomfortable I am. Um, and it's like and so because I was. Like when you're when you're when you're a smart kid that is desperate for love, it's like you don't really attract love. You attract predators, narcissists, mm. and, and people that see you as somebody that, that can easily be taken advantage of. Because all they got to do is, is pretend to love you, and you. And it's like, th and that, that's the thing about I think it's what true. What kind of predators prey on? No, you? no, I don't mean I don't mean those kind of predators. Oh, okay, I, I but I, but I mean that. I mean, there are people that will use the users. Yeah, there, there are people that you're more likely to be taken. Being sensitive makes you more likely to be taken advantage of. Not, not for people to think. You know, it's almost like being generous makes you more likely to get robbed. Yeah, right. It doesn't make you. It doesn't make people. People aren't gonna go. Oh my god! Every time I see Neil, he's giving a hundred dollar bills to the homeless. They're gonna go. This, this motherfucker right here. Yeah, don't know what yeah, the fuck yeah, you don't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so it's that. It's like emo as a youngin, emotionally, I was that person that was so green and just thought anybody that showed me the slightest bit of love, I would just drop all the defenses. You know what I'm saying? It was, yeah. It was, it was. Yeah. It was almost like I had a. I had a. I have a Fort Knox, fucking, fifteenth black belt level encryption system right here. But the but the password is. Hi. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. The passwords. Hey, cutie. Yeah. Yeah. So, so my prop. So then that bleeds into my adult relationships because it's like, yeah. The, but the the but the other the other side of that is, I think that m most women in America, I love a generalization. Cannot wait. They're not socialized or conditioned to 
Like I, I require the emotional care that a woman would. And women are not, tr- women, American women are not brought mm. up to provide that for men. They, they, they expect it from you, but mm-hmm. I need it too. Yeah. Like I'm, yeah, I'm very soft in here and I need, and I can't deal with, I can't be with a woman that doesn't recognize that and like care for me, like extra. And, and I think the way American women are taught to treat men that they're with, like once they get a man, it's just not, and I'm not, and I know everyone isn't like, I'm not saying all women, there are the, the sweet souls out there. They're usually, they're usually married. (laughs) <laughs> at my age right so it's like it's that it's like i always run into that problem where it's like i need you like all the way i need you to carry everything right now and a lot of times they they can't do that you know they don't know how they've never had to do that they, yeah like, they do it for a kid probably yeah but i think I, honestly i think it's something that unlocks in you instinctually when it's your kid. Yeah, no, of course. Right, but yeah. but when it's your man, like men, yeah. men's emotions are not. We're like third class. Exactly, it's it's, it's like, nothing. what? No one wants to hear, people will listen to your, uh, you know, that's why the only time anyone wants to, the only time anyone cares how a man feels is when he kills a bunch of people. Then they were like, where's his manifesto? Yeah. But <laughs> but if, as soon as you say it, like you saying it like now, like, yeah, and so I, I don't, I don't know if I can, I don't, I just think statistically chances are I'm not going to, or, oh, this is a big one. And maybe I'm doing this in my head. I tend to also go for people that are fucked up Mm -hmm. because I always thought subconsciously, I think that they can't judge me for what's wrong with me if I don't judge them for what's wrong with them. Right. But that is a recipe for disaster because you know, especially I'm 41. If I meet somebody that's four, if I meet a woman that's 41, that's still fucked up and not doing none of the work, she, she ain't gonna help me at all. No, it's we're just gonna, gonna get worse. We're gonna hurt each other. Yeah. So, it's it's like it's that whole combination of things. But also, I don't know if I want. Like, I think I want to feel. I think I like the way love feels. I do. Mm-hmm. I like the idea of. I like knowing that somebody out there love me like that. But I don't know if I need that. And I and I think so many of my peers, older, younger, whatever, I don't even think it's a generational thing, they see like I forget the dude from the dude from uh, KFC Radio said this to me the other day. But it's like I I think dudes wanna get married and have kids so everyone knows they're not gay. Yeah. Like, I mean that's part of it. It's just, people just right. want to do the thing that culturally that they're supposed to do exactly. and be just, like, ah, we're like, good. You know what it is to me is like marriage and and deep relationships. It's like this eclipse. It's like all these fucking people, you spending thousands of dollars on flights and shit and rushing out here to to look at the sky. It was overcast and then yeah, for, overcast for a minute and, and a half it was it looked kind of yeah, dusky. But, but guess what? It's gonna be people po- it's people posting on social media right now going Austin 2024 eclipse. We did it. We missed out. Yep. And Wedding. that's what that's what like relationships was to me. It was like like even like my mother sometimes. I talk whenever I talk to my mother, it's it's it go I guess it goes back to that party thing where it's like I feel like <clears throat> and I hate to generalize women. Maybe I could just say the women in my life. Mm-hmm. The women I've encountered. But again, it's like I don't think I don't think women have to understand men. You know what I mean? So it's like, what, so like every time I talk to mean like they so therefore they don't make an effort to. I don't think they no. I don't think I don't think women ever. I don't think women make an effort to understand men at all. I, th- I don't think they. I don't think they need. To. I think they care about our emotions about as much as we care about their sexual ideation. What they, how they feel about sex, and like how um, important it is and how, and we're just kind of like, you trying to fuck or not? And they're like, no, but this is an emotional thing that I have a certain expectations right. for. And I would like to feel a certain way before it begins. And then afterward and after, and we're just like, no, 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 no. And that's how they are with us. Like, we're like, we have specific, and they're like, are you going to support me or not? <laughs> are you going to, are you going to be there for me or not? Right, right. I don't give a fuck about all your shit. Yeah. We're, I need you to do a thing. Do it. No, that's a good analogy. Um, no, especially that. Especially like that. Every, like every, every time I talk to my mom, she go, she'll say something to the effect of like, you know, are you who you who you're seeing, who you dating, mm-hmm. you know? And I, I, it's like I just got out of a relationship in yeah. August, but I think she's ticky like me, 
or she's particular. That's, I think that's a better way of putting it. And she's older and she's uh, single. Oh, actually, I don't know if she's single. She always got her little secrets. But, you know, she's publicly single. Right. And I think because, you know, the dream for her was always married, kids, yeah. stable. She thinks that, that she wants that for me. Like, to, how else would right? But 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 when I tell her that I don't really like, w w I guess what I'm trying to say is like my 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 mother talks about marriage and relationships as though like the way like like it's somewhere to live. Like well, you, it is. Well, you can get down. You can get down. Yeah, you'll get an apartment. I heard. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. I don't want somebody I know is down there, so they you could get in touch right. with them when you get when you touch down. And, and I'm like, Mom, I'm living in this van. It's great. I don't need an apartment. Yeah. Okay, okay baby. But, but listen, but, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm put in that application for you because it's it's like no, Mom, no, really, I'm fine. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.